Shalom to Nation of Israel. This is Barazal coming in the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Racha Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and to the hopeful elect pushing his word in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth. Uh, this lesson is going to be titled, well, it's just going to be a quick one. It says, Fire is affliction, and affliction is needed. Right? Or affliction is needed. So we're going to start with Isaiah 48 and 10. Behold, I have refined thee, but not with silver. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. Right? And I was just watching a video about, um, it was just a guy, he took a piece of a pan, like an iron pan, and he turned it into a knife. Right? But in the process of him making it, he had to heat it up, heat up that, that metal and cool it down. Heat it up and then cool it down. And the heating part, Gets rid of the impurities and the cooling hardens it, makes it stronger, right? So, you know, you know, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but I talk about this a lot. You know, you're going to keep going through the heating and cooling process, right? So when the heating process is happening, you can't get caught up in the fact that you're in the fire. You have to understand that you're in the fire because it's part of the process, right? But don't get caught up in the things that are happening while you're in the fire, right? You got to be able to see outside of that, right? Because you might lose yourself when you get caught up, if you get too caught up in what's happening while you're in the fire, in the, in the furnace, in the affliction, okay? But like I said, it's to refine you, to refine you, to take the impurities. What the, that's what refine means, to take out impurities, to make pure. Let's lock it up. Um, so now we're going to go to Luke. Like I said, it's just going to be very quick, but it's very always good to have reminders because it's not easy because we're in the flesh. It's not easy, right? It's simple, but not easy, okay? Luke 12 and 49, I am come to send, on, send fire on the earth, and what, if, what will I if it already be kindled, Right? And that fire he's referring to, well, you can see there's a lot of ways to look at it. The fire he's referring to is a fire, there's so many ways. Um, variants against families, right? You know, your parents are against you because you believe it's truth. They're saying about, they're going to take the sea hip. They're really like, no, that's fire, that's affliction, right? And you live in that house, so you got to deal with that. But that's to refine you, right? It could be with your woman. It could be at work, Right? It could just be with yourself, right? You got to fight your own demons. You got to fight your flesh, right? It's all about refinement. It's all about purification. So when it happens, just try. I'm not going to say don't do it. Just try your best to not get caught up in the fact of what's happening in the moment. You got to be in the moment, but also be look outside of the moment. Like look around you, be... In the moment, but also be able to see outside of it at the same time, which is a skill. And it's not easy because you're in the flesh. The flesh is designed to make you to be emotional, to be impulsive, to everything negative, pretty much. Okay? So you actually have to constantly examine yourself. Constantly examine yourself every single day. Every moment of the day, you got to examine yourself. At first, it's time, but it eventually becomes uh, second nature. Okay, but even then you have to you have to be thinking about it too. So it's not easy, like the scriptures say. Uh, prepare yourself uh, to when you when you, when you come to serve the Lord. Prepare yourself for temptation, right? Roughly paraphrasing. So Zechariah, the last one, thirteen and eight. Zechariah thirteen and eight. And it shall come to pass that in all the land. Saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein, right? And two, uh, the two parts are the two thirds, the two thirds of Israel. They're gonna get cut off because the Lord, like I said, the Lord said He's gonna send fire, but only the elect are gonna get refined from that fire. They're gonna get stronger from it. The two thirds are not gonna be able to handle it because they're stubble. They're gonna get burnt up. The elect, right? They're gonna be made pure. They're gonna get stronger. So if someone gets stronger, it's gonna keep, it's gonna be able to handle what's coming next. And it's gonna make it to the end, pretty much. Right? Whatever's weak is gonna die. Like this, like the old saying says, uh, survival of the fittest. Right? Only the strongest survive. 
That's just what it is. If the Lord's not dealing with you, you're not going to survive. Right? Uh, verse 9, And I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, It is my people, and they shall say, The Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, is my power. Right? So you're going to go through trials and tribulations. It's just part of the being in the truth. Serving the Lord is just part of it. But you just got to keep moving forward every day. Even if it's a little bit of a day. If you get a little bit of progress. Right? A little bit better. That's good. It doesn't have to be in numerous jumps and leaps. Right? Take your time. Go at your own pace. Just because someone's moving faster than you doesn't mean you have to move at their pace. Lord made everyone different. So don't get caught up in what someone else is doing, how fast they're learning the scriptures or, you know, whatever, you know, you got to focus. You got to, you got to know yourself. You got to know how to, how Yahweh Shem Yashai made you, right? You have to know who you are and know your pace. Know how, you know, you got to really know yourself. That's why the scriptures say, examine yourself. Once you know that, then you don't get caught up in what other people are doing or what other people are saying. Right? It's just about your own growth. Well, however fast it is. But as long as you're making progress forward, not backwards. Right? So um just want to make a quick video. Don't want to keep talking. You know, points been made. Hopefully this lesson was edifying to a hopeful light that pushes word and truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth. And shallow until next time.